Did you have any idea that Elon Musk speaks perfect Polish? Jeśli spojrzysz na historię cywilizacji, na wzloty i upadki starożytnych Egipcjan, starożytnych Sumerów, Rzymu. If you didn't know that, don't worry, because you're actually right. He doesn't. This is actually a video of him speaking English that was translated into Polish and the way his face contorts as he speaks the language of Polish makes it 100% believable. You can't really differentiate between him speaking naturally in the English language and him speaking naturally in Polish. Even the tone and the sound of his voice is identical to the way it would sound if he really did know another language like that. Wiesz, że na całym świecie miało miejsce wiele wzlotów i upadków cywilizacji, więc istnieje pewnego rodzaju cykl życia cywilizacji, tak samo jak dla jednostek ludzkich. Tak i myślę, że po prostu chcemy upewnić się, że postęp cywilizacji jest nie tylko kontynuowany, ale także rozwija się i dlatego czuję się niepokojąco zaniepokojony. This is truly amazing, but can also be very, very scary because this can clearly be a tool for deep fakes. What do I mean by that? Well, it could be dangerous because when different countries have elections, let's say, they can create deep fakes of the opposition saying something completely wrong, alienating a group. And because they are manipulating the way it even comes out of their face visually and the tone of their voice is the same, we can't really trust our eyes or ears anymore. And that's really scary. Also, aside from elections, this can also be really, really dangerous when it comes to bribing people, when it comes to humiliating or trying to demean people or to harass people or to tear down their reputation. You can now create anyone saying anything and it will be believable to your senses. That truly is the first time when I saw this, when I played with this platform called Hey Gen Labs, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. This is gonna be a tutorial video as well, but I gotta say, it's the first time that I truly understand why people are horrified of artificial intelligence and AI, and why certain people like Elon Musk ironically, are trying to have guardrails legally, a commission or an agency that oversees AI technology and AI innovation. And I got to say, with this recent example, I kind of agree because there's so many ways that this technology if possessed by those who have nefarious motivations or just want to be malicious or are just terrible people, they can totally use this technology to scam, to scare people and to mislead people. Imagine leaders of countries speaking to another nation's people in their foreign language and saying certain things or endorsing certain people during elections. Now, for us in America, we kind of can differentiate between bullshit and what's real. Like, for instance, when we all saw the picture of the Pope wearing a jacket that Drake would wear, we kind of realized that, hey, this is probably fake. But a lot of people around the world, they believed it 100%. Some nations, their people don't even have access to the entire internet. It's filtered as far as what they show them. And with these tools here, very quickly, you can create deep fakes and you can convince people that certain celebrities, certain people that they look up to or certain people they know are saying certain things and in any language that they please. Well, not any. There's only several that for now HeyGen offers. And I'm going to show you exactly how I created this video with Elon Musk speaking perfect Polish. So let's dive in. And I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Is this truly a really, really potentially dangerous, harmful tool? Or am I blowing it out of proportion? And this is actually a very helpful tool. Actually, let's talk about some of the ways it can help. So if I create a tutorial, which I create a lot of on this channel, perhaps I could translate it to different languages and help other people in other countries that don't have access to a tutorial, go ahead and watch it and it will be helpful for that. If I wanna communicate with a client 
or a family member that's in another country and speaks a different language, I can now translate seamlessly what I'm trying to convey and they will be able to see it. They'll be able to believe it. It will not look choppy. It's not closed captions. It's not someone else's voice speaking in their language that's muting my voice, but rather me speaking another language and in a way that people cannot differentiate whether it's truly me or not me speaking that language. Obviously, if you know me, you would know that I don't speak Portuguese, but with this platform, you can change that. So let's take a look exactly at how it's done. Okay, so once you navigate to labs.heygen.com, and I will include the link in the description of this video, once you sign up and it's quick and easy, you will see that you're gifted with two credits here, which equals a two minute video. Video duration is rounded up to 30 seconds. Credits will reset at the beginning of each billing cycle. So you only have a little bit of time to use up these two credits. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is upload a video. Over here, it says that video duration can be up to five minutes with a file size up to 500 megabytes. But keep in mind that your video has to be at least 30 seconds long. Otherwise, it'll be an error and it won't allow you to upload it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload the Elon Musk speaking Polish video. And over here, this is the Elon Musk video where he's obviously speaking English, but I titled it Elon Speaks Polish. For the targeted language, which is powered by 11 labs, we're gonna go ahead and select Polish. And as you can see, there's a lot of different languages here. Spanish, French, Hindi, Italian, German, Portuguese, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, Turkish, and Polish. And keep in mind that every couple of weeks, they seem to be adding languages. And this is a good thing. So it means there'll be more and more languages as time goes on. So we'll select Polish. And then we'll simply click Submit. And you get a notification here that if we submit the video, it will consume one credit and I will be left with just one. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm. Now, as you can see here, it's 3 p.m. on September 20th. I am on the New York City time, so I'm on the East Coast in America. And you can see that the queuing position is 77,845. And if I wanna skip the line, I actually have to upgrade and pay for this service. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it on the free version. And let's see exactly how long it takes to go ahead and process this video. So let's have an honest conversation about this in the comment section. I am sincerely curious what your thoughts are on this AI platform. Are you like me? Do you really feel like this can and will, if not already, is being used for nefarious reasons? Or am I just being a little bit paranoid when it comes to this specific AI and it's actually a super helpful tool and I need to chill out? Let's talk about it in the comment section. More AI tutorials, more AI news dropping on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video.